We need to give citizens the tools and the information they need to live healthier lives. And this is why we will update the European Code Against Cancer. So citizens can have specific recommendations on how they can reduce their risk of cancer. We want to improve health literacy, achieve a tobacco-free Europe, reduce harmful alcohol consumption, and improve health promotion. These are all achievable goals that will improve people's lives and health in tangible and concrete ways. Now, the EU cannot beat cancer alone. However, if we don't set the right course, then we won't succeed, particularly for the rare forms of cancer and cancers in children. Research has to be cross-border research, and we have to roll out the red carpet to these scientists rather than putting obstacles in their way, as we are in some other areas. Patients need help if they go to see a specialist in another country. They don't want to see national or European red tape standing in their way. We share the Commission's ambitious prevention goal when it comes to smoking, alcohol and uh, clear food nutrition information. We have to respond to those governments who bear the economic cost of this illness. Four billion euro is the price. We have to coordinate efforts between the member states by creating a network of the 27 national anti-cancer plans. We also have non-binding recommendations that should lead the member states to create a European Charter for Cancer Patients' Rights.